Hi, I would like to go over the Laplace transform of the function 1 over square of t. As you can see, when t is equal to 0, we have 1 over 0, namely we have a vertical asymptote when t is equal to 0. However, this function still have a Laplace transform. And to do this, we are going to use the definition of Laplace transform. Namely, we will have the integral from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to infinity. e to the negative st, we will have 1 over square of t dt. And then, we are going to first take a u substitution to take care of this integral. I will let u is equal to st. So this is what we have. u is equal to st, and remember s is a positive constant, and then we will just differentiate both sides. du is equal to s dt. We can divide both sides by s, so we get dt is equal to 1 over s du. And then this way, we can take care of this part, and we can take care of that part, but then we still have to take care of 1 over square of t. Because u is equal to st, that means t is equal to u over s after you divide both sides by s. And we can square root both sides, square root of t is equal to square root of u over square root of s. And then that means we can take the reciprocal of this, 1 over square root of t is equal to square root of s over square root of u, which is just a flip of that. And then we can draw in everything into this integral and then take this integral into the u world. But then remember when t is equal to 0, that means u will also be 0, so you have to make sure that you change the number, but then they happen to be the same. Likewise, when t is infinity, because s is positive, u will also be infinity as well. And we will have e to the negative st, st is u, so we have e to the negative u. 1 over square of t is square root of s over square root of u, so that goes right here. dt is equal to 1 over s du, that goes right here. And then we are going to take care of the s, because s is a constant in the u world. So we can take the square root of s out, and we can also take the s out. And this is what we're going to get. Square root of s over s, and then inside will be u from 0 to infinity, e to the negative u over e to the negative u times 1 over square root u du. And then to take up this integral, we have to do another substitution. And let me do a w substitution right here. So I will let w is equal to square root u. And then I will differentiate both sides. dw is equal to 1 over 2 square root u du. And then du, after we multiply both sides by 2 square root u, we'll get 2 square root u dw for du. So this way, we can take care of this, take this integral into the w world. But then, Square of s over s, we, as we can see, this is going to be 1 over square of s. And then, because u is 0, that means w will be 0. Because u is infinity, that means w will also be infinity. e to the negative u becomes e to the negative w squared, because u, as you can see, will be w squared. 1 over square of u, let me just leave it as how it is. But then du is equal to 2 square of u dw. And as you can see, the u cancel out, which is really nice. And then the 2 can go out. So this is what we're going to get. 2 over square root of s, the integral from 0 to infinity, e to the negative w squared dw. And this is a famous integral. This is the Gaussian integral, but just half of them. And this is just half of the famous one. The famous one is from negative infinity to infinity. That's the Gaussian integral. And then the whole area under this curve right here is going to be square root pi. So we have this integral is the value of 1 half square root pi. So this is going to be, we're almost done, 2 over square root of s, and this whole thing turns out to be square root of pi over 2. And finally, as you can see, we can cancel the 2. That means the Laplace of 1 over square root of t is equal to square root of pi over square root of s, and we are done.